Workers' compensation frequently asked questions. Many workers have a lot of questions about the benefits they may receive if they have an accident at work. Below you will find the answers to some of our most frequently asked questions. What exactly is workers' compensation? Also known as workman's compensation this type of benefit is a state insurance program that provides compensation to anyone who was injured on the job, or who has suffered from illnesses and injuries that are related to their job. Although the federal government has a workers' compensation program for federal employees and a few other types of employees, every state has its own programs and laws as far as this type of compensation is concerned. For more information about the types of compensation you can receive in your state, please visit the U.S. Department of Labor's Division of Federal Employees' Compensation. Anyone who has been injured or suffers from a work-related illness could be eligible for compensation no matter who is found to be at fault. In some cases, if you want to be guaranteed that you will receive workers' compensation you will no longer be entitled to take your employer to court so you can sue them for damages. Does workers' compensation anything other than medical bills? Workers' compensation covers your medical bills, specifically the procedures that are used to diagnose and then treat your injuries. However, it also makes disability payments should you be unable to work at any time during the recovery period. The disability payments will typically cover about 66% of your salary. Workers' compensation may also pay for rehabilitation. Are all types of injuries that have been sustained at work covered by the compensation? Most injuries that take place at work, also known as on-the-job injuries, are covered by the compensation. However, this type of benefit has some limitations. If you were injured at work because you were found to be under the influence of alcohol or drugs you will not be covered by workers' compensation. You may also be denied coverage if you suffered injuries. While you were not at work. If you were committing a crime. If your conduct violated your employer's company policy. If your injuries were self-inflicted, this includes those that were caused if you were in a fight that you started. Does workers' compensation also cover long-term illnesses and injuries? Even if you have not been injured at work you may still be entitled to workers' compensation. This is because the benefit covers injuries that have been caused by misuse or overuse over a lengthy period of time. For example, you may be suffering from back problems because you were expected to carry heavy loads for many years. If you have suffered from stress because of your job you may also be eligible for this benefit. Do I have to be on the premises in order to receive compensation? If your injury is found to be related to your job then you should receive compensation. For example, if you were involved in an accident when you were attending training, traveling between locations or while you were delivering groceries to a customer, you could be eligible. Is every employee covered by workers' compensation benefits? Unfortunately not. Not all employers need to have workers' compensation, however, it does depend on the state their business is located in, and the state laws. The employer must provide coverage based on how many employees they have, what type of work they undertake, and what type of business they run. Some workers are excluded from this type of benefit, and although the exclusions can vary from state to state, casual or seasonal workers, domestic and farm workers are usually exempt. Do I have to be treated by a doctor that my employer provides? Depending on where you live you can see your own doctor, but you will need to request this before you have an injury. However, those who have been injured are usually referred to a doctor that works for their employer. It is important to note that regardless of which doctor you see, their report will have an impact on the types of benefits you are likely to receive. You should also remember that if you have to see a doctor that has been selected by your employer you may have to be careful about some of the answers you give. For example, if you have injured your back in a fall at work, the doctor may ask you if you have had previous back injuries or issues. Even if you have a history of back issues, you may want to deny that you have, unless they were serious, as the doctor may want to play down the seriousness of your back injury. This is because some employers do not want to pay for the continued treatment of someone who has a history of back issues. Can employers be sued in court because of an injury at work? Yes. 
if you have been injured due to your employer's intentional action or recklessness you could take them to court. Taking your employer to court would mean that you would have to refuse to claim for workers' compensation, and instead sue them for pain and suffering, punitive damages, and more.